Jude Bellingham had a rather unique way of celebrating his goal against Slovakia. Well, we won't dwell too much on the video. I think the pictures speak for themselves. What we can say is that he was quite happy to score. And once again, he is proving to be his team's savior, just as he was with Real Madrid, famously scoring in added time every time. And he did it again for England, scoring in the 95th minute with a superb scissors kick to send the game into extra time. When you do that at the age of 21, everything seems normal. So everything was perfect, from his goal to his celebration. And when I say his celebration, I'm not referring to the earlier video. We'll get to that in a moment. I mean his iconic celebration, both arms in the air, accompanied by his captain, Harry Kane. And at that moment, he can be seen shouting towards the stands, who else? Anyway, everything was perfect. The charisma was there. He doesn't seem to want Vinicius to win the Ballon d'Or easily. It's going to be a tough competition. But as I've already mentioned, apart from his wonderful goal, there was another image that caused quite a stir. The one in which the Englishman can be seen making an obscene gesture towards the Slovakia bench or the crowd. It's not entirely clear. The problem here is that he seemed a bit too inspired by his idol Cristiano Ronaldo, as we recently discovered that his celebration was actually a recreation of CR7's photo. However, Jude has decided to take inspiration from Ronaldo once again. The Portuguese has already been involved in some controversial celebrations in Saudi Arabia and has been suspended. Well, Bellingham, caught up in the euphoria, let himself go a little too far. And the Englishman responded to this controversy when he saw it was getting too much attention. It was on Twitter where he reposted the infamous video in question stating it was a playful gesture to close friends who were present in the stadium. Nothing against Slovakia, while also adding nothing but respect for how that Slovakia team played tonight. So there you have it, at least the story is over, and England narrowly escaped elimination. England's supporters had been tense throughout the game, but were able to let loose at the moment of Bellingham's goal as this video from a bar, captured by security cameras, shows. Check out the magical reaction of these fans. Let's now move on to two other stars of this Euro, with the monstrous performances of Nico Williams and Laman Yamal for Spain, perhaps the most exciting duo of the competition so far. What's frightening is that they're only 37 years old between them, which is younger than Modric or Ronaldo, for example. Last night, Laman Yamal became the first teenager since Cristiano Ronaldo in 2004 to record two assists in a Euro. The Spaniard also created the most chances during the tournament. But perhaps the shining star was his mate Nico Williams, who was exceptional and has been linked with a move to Barca, where he could be reunited with Lamin Yamal. Considering that Nico Williams has a 58 million euros release clause that Barcelona could activate, 58 million euros doesn't seem too high for a player of his caliber. You'd have the chance to see the chemistry of this Yamal Williams duo again. We've already seen them dancing together in their room, and now they're doing it on the pitch. Check it out, right after Williams' goal. And speaking of chemistry, Nico and Yamal even managed to argue like brothers, arguing over who would be the first to drink water from their bottle. So they settled it with rock, paper, scissors. Yamal lost and wasn't very happy as you can see in these pictures. And Mbappe took revenge for the infamous video, deleted by the Belgians, in which Red Devils midfielder Onana sang about breaking Mbappe's leg. Qui c'est qui t'aclera? Mbappe au tibia? Oh, na, na. I'm a, do, oh, na, na. a Belgian journalist asked Killian about it, wondering if he would still exchange jerseys with him after the match. But well, first he would need to know who he is. Amadou Onana, peut-il encore changer de maillot avec vous après le match? Yeah. Amadou Onana. Qui? Amadou Onana. Well, was it a communication gimmick to humiliate Onana and show that he really doesn't care? Or did he really not know who it was? I'll let you make up your own mind. In any case, those weren't the only punches thrown by Mbappe just before the Belgium game, as he gave a press conference that allowed him to revisit three things. The moment he insulted Lewandowski, his broken nose and his awful mask. Lewandowski uh, pas fait exprès quand il m'a touché. La réaction, c'était plus une réaction instinctive de la douleur. Malheureusement, il y a beaucoup d'enfants qui regardent les matchs, donc il faudra il faudra essayer de, de, de se contrôler à l'avenir. Mais s'il faudra qu'on me touche le nez et qu'on ait un quart de finale, bah, il est déjà cassé, donc il va pas se casser plus. Hein. 
mais jouer avec un masque c'est une horreur absolue. C'est vraiment compliqué parce que ça, ça limite la vision, ça, la sueur reste bloquée donc il faut toujours l'enlever pour que ça coule. En fait j'avais l'impression dans les premiers jours que j'étais en 3D et que j'étais invité à l'Euro en VIP. <rire> je voyais les gens et j'ai l'impression que c'est pas moi qui jouais donc c'est compliqué. Dès que je pourrais l'enlever je vais l'enlever franchement. Maintenant là j'ai pas le choix, je peux pas jouer sans mais c'est chiant, c'est chiant, c'est chiant.